Hey, what's up? Hope you're doing great today. I'm gonna to show you a few hand dribbling skills, ball handling skills, passing skills, and some shooting skills. Use your favorite hand. Dribble at your waist using your fingertips only. Use the opposite hand. Dribble using both hands, switching hands as you dribble. Put one foot forward and dribble between your legs. Then the opposite. If you need to, just roll the ball between your feet. Move the ball around your body in one direction, then the opposite. You can also just roll the ball around your waist. Start at the bottom and wrap the ball all the way around your body going up. Then go the opposite direction and unwrap your body. Pass the ball between each hand. Spread your feet apart, pass the ball between one leg and around the other leg. For an easier way, roll the ball between your feet. To make it more challenging, dribble the ball. Drop the ball behind your head and try to catch it. If you're fast, try to clap before you catch it. With both hands in front, drop the ball between your feet and try to catch it behind you. Start with the ball on the ground between your feet. Make sure one hand goes behind you and one hand is in front. Next, see if you can do it with the ball bouncing one time. Then see if you can do it without letting the ball bounce. Both hands on the side, take one step forward and pass the ball. Your fingers should point towards your partner. Grip the ball on the side, take a step forward, push the ball to the ground towards your partner. Grip the ball on both sides over your head and pass to your partner. When you shoot a basketball, one thing you remember is to bend your knees. So you bend your knees, get in a good shooting position. Your hand is like this. Your elbow points to the basket. Your hand is gonna be pointing to the basket. Holding the ball, you have your helper hand. It's gonna go here on the side. When you shoot the basket, bend your knees. You're gonna push your hand up and flick your wrist. When you flick your wrist, pretend that you are making a candy cane because your hand goes up and it's in the shape of a candy cane. So when you shoot, it should look like this. So practice a few times with a ball and just practice tossing it in the air and catching it. Practicing how to shoot. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a few things today. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. We'll see you next time.